Mr. Benjamin Davidson. Miss Winifred Small and Mr. Philip Mills. I should warn you, I don't know much about dancing. Just follow me. There's Lord and Lady Templeton. Felicity! Thank you for your generous invitation, Lady Templeton. With great pleasure, Miss Mary. Please excuse us. There's Miss Mandelby. Felicity! And Elizabeth. Hello. Hello. Young ladies, you look lovely. Thank you, Miss Mandley. I have Elizabeth and her mother to thank for that. I understand your mother's feeling better. Much better. Thank you. Excuse me, young ladies? Of course, Miss Mandley. Felicity, look. Banana Bell found a dancing partner. I'm surprised she's interested in Father's Apprentice. Oh, dear, is that your Father's Apprentice? He looks so different tonight. I'm afraid I confused him with the son of a very wealthy loyalist. And that's who I told Banana Bell he was. <laughs> <laughs> Said, you mean you're not the son of a wealthy loyalist? <laughs> How did you reply? Said I'm an apprentice to a shopkeeper and a patriot. Oh dear. Then what happened? Nothing. She was too busy walking away. <laughs> <laughs> oh Ben, tis almost Christmas. What a grand, wonderful night it was. Where are you going? To check on Penny and wish her a Merry Christmas. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. Something's wrong. Penny! Penny, I'm here! It's her time. I think the foal's having trouble. When's your father back? Not until tomorrow. I don't think she'll hold until then. We must get help. Who? Stay here. <laughs> once said that, that you knew more about horses than anyone. We need you, sir. Please. It's all right, Ben. I asked Mr. Nye to come. You keep her calm. I don't reckon she's forgotten what I've done to her. Go on. Fine one. 
born on Christmas Day. Look at that. He'll be independent, just like his mother. And just as spirited as his owner. Like a patriot soldier. That's what we'll call him. We'll call him Patriot. And what's this? Father, me Patriot. Patriot's a fine looking animal. Is this Mr. Nye? Hi, sir. We would have lost both Penny and Patriot had he not come. Well, then I thank you, sir. We're in your debt. No need, Merriman. Your girl has taught me a thing or two about kindness. Mr. Nye, if you're not otherwise engaged, would you do my family the honor of joining us for Christmas supper? Christmas had come at last, and as I watched our friends and our family gathered together in celebration, I realized that it didn't matter if we were loyalists or if we were patriots, because on that night, in that room, we were together as one. <laughs> To our friends, old and new. <laughs> to our family, those who are kin and those who have chosen to live in our home. And to those who no longer sit at our table, but will forevermore be in our hearts. And to Christmas, a time of love, a time of peace, a time of hope. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. 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 Merry it's for you. Thank you. Oh, Felicity, your sampler. You finished it. Thank you. Faithful friends, forever be. <laughs> As the carolers sang, I knew that no matter where our journeys led us, we would always have in our hearts comforts of that evening, the love of our families, and the everlasting nature of true friendship. <laughs>